Trees, who we're going to get started. Uh, we've got Rick here with Trails End to talk with us about the Popcorn app. So we will let you take it away, Rick. I'm happy. Appreciate it. Hey, so just to get started, we're going to watch a short video on the app. Um, I think the vast majority of your questions will be answered here, um, but then we'll take as much time afterwards as possible um, to make sure that you guys have all of your questions answered. So we'll go ahead and roll into this training. Now the first thing that a scout should do when they get into the app is they should grab mom and dad and head on over to the rewards page to set a goal. I always recommend that a scout complete this step with their parents because they're going to need their parents support to reach their goal. It just makes sense that everybody starts off on the same page right from the beginning. So a scout will set their goal by navigating to the rewards section. You open the navigation menu by clicking on the three lines in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Then you will select rewards. As soon as you open the screen, you have a bunch of different prize ideas. You simply want to scroll through all of these options and discuss them as a family. You want to select the option that makes the most sense for you. Now you can set your goal by clicking on the heart within that option or you can go to the top of the screen and click on the pencil to add your goal. Now the next thing that you're gonna do is you need to go and personalize your page. This is another step that's usually helpful to have mom and dad um, with the scout while they complete. Now once again, you'll open up the navigation menu by clicking on those three lines in the upper corner, and then you wanna go to the manage page section. From here, you wanna tell your potential customers a little bit more about your scout. Now, I got a son who's working to earn his way to National Jamboree, so that's what I have in here. But you want to personalize this to your scouting adventure. Uh, next, you want to go and help your scout select their favorite product. Now, I don't know about your kids, but my kids have a different favorite every single year. So we always come in here and we skim through the products, find the favorite, and select it. Now, one very important piece to things this year is going to be adding your personality. What better way to do that than adding some photos and videos? I suggest adding at least one photo or video to this section. And most definitely, you need to come and you need to upload a profile photo. This will be shared, it will be shared every single time your scout shares their fundraising page. It'll be one of the first things that your potential customers see and it makes a huge, huge difference. Be sure that you have that personal touch in there. Now you also want to make sure to add a personal touch when you're sharing your page. As you can see, we have a variety of different options for you to share. You could do text, email, social media, or you can simply copy the information to a clipboard to paste it anywhere. But be sure you want to add some personal touches. Add a cute little story, a little blurb, something that's going to get your customer's attention. Now that we have things set up, I would like to navigate back on over to the dashboard and point a few things out to you. We've got some, some new upgrades that I think you guys are really going to like. The first thing I would like to point out is that we have a new selling feature this year. It's called Online Direct. And while I wish I could say that this idea came from Trails In, it didn't. It actually came from an awesome scout named Nathan. Nathan was really eager and he had the idea to go door to door with his iPad selling the online product mix. Nathan had a ton of success with this method and he quickly got our attention. We decided that we wanted to give it a try and we wanted to see if Nathan was a one hit wonder or if he was on to something. So we ran some tests in Indy and we found that scouts were selling over $100 an hour with this method. So we decided it was something everybody needed to have the option to do. So we have now added the online direct option for all scouts within the Trails In app. You simply open that option. You're going to record a sale here the same way you would record a wagon sale or a storefront sale. Except the only options are going to be all of the online products. These products will be sent directly to your customer. There's no return delivery required. Next, I would like to go back to the dashboard and I would like to show you our wagon sale screen because this is another screen where we have made a lot of improvements. To start a sale, you're gonna click on the cart and as soon as we open it up, 
you will see a difference. We heard you guys when you said that we needed to make the images larger and easier to see, as well as the prices, and that's what we did. We also cut the number of clicks down by half to complete a seal. It's only four clicks this year. If you click on the three dots in the gray Rubik's Cube, you're able to bring up a different checkout view. Either view operates the same. You simply tap an item to add it to the cart. If you add an item by accident, you can swipe to the left to remove an item, or you can swipe to the right to get more information about the product, or you can add and reduce the number of items. Once you've added all of your items to the cart, don't forget to ask your customer if they would like to donate popcorn to the American Heroes, which includes the military and first responders. Let's check out our storefront menu. Um, there's not a lot of changes here. You are able to pick a shift either from the calendar or from the list. You simply find an option that works for you and click on the sign up option. Then you are able to add it to your calendar if you would like. Um, all of your sales at the storefront are going to be recorded just like your wagon sale. The only difference being that there's no undelivered option. We have the same two payment features available this year that we had last year. Obviously, we can accept cash, but I know with my sale, I'm going to try to limit as much cash exposure as I possibly can. I am always going to be telling my scouts that our preferred method of payment is credit. Credit card transactions don't cost anything at the unit, at the council level. Trails in takes care of all of that for us. So for me, it just makes more sense that our preferred method of payment in 2020 should be credit. Now, I would also like to open up the navigation menu again, and let's go and check out the training section. The training section has a ton of different videos. We have videos for leaders, for scouts, for parents on a variety of different options. If your scouts are looking for some tips for success, we have this little cutie that can help them out. And we also have all of these printable resources that are available for your scouts. Anything from scripts to thank you cards. Uh, we even have templates for business cards and door hangers. We also have the path to advancement here. This is an excellent resource. This will help you see what requirements your scouts are satisfying just by participating in the popcorn sale. Something new that we have this year that I would also like to point out to you is the recruit a scout feature. So if you're out and about and meet a potential scout, now you have the ability to record their information and send them a message. I know that I always get approached by families that are looking to join scouting, and I've always had a clipboard at the table, but this sends them an immediate communication with your information right then and there. I think it's awesome, and it's really going to help us bring scouting to the community. Just as a reminder, your dashboard will help you track your scout seals in real time. Now, don't forget to share your fundraising page as often as you can. I always suggest sharing it at least once a week, and I have found that Sunday evenings are the best time to share your page. Coming soon, we have a parent credit payment feature where parents will be able to take their money that they accumulate from their popcorn sales, and they can deposit that into their own account and then just use their credit card to pay the unit. I'd like to recap on some of the bigger changes before we wrap things up. First, I'd like to point out that we are working with a new interface, Google Flutter. As you've seen throughout the app, things are smoother, more snappy, more intuitive, uh, much easier to complete. The registration process is more simplified, both for individuals and for sibling accounts. And it is much easier for parents to toggle between sibling, from sibling to sibling in their accounts. We've made many improvements throughout the app to make your experience even better than it was before. Now, don't forget, I would always recommend working on your own a little bit more this year than years past. I would definitely suggest those individual shifts and those credit card payment options. If you're looking for help or advice, I always suggest that you reach out to the Facebook groups. Take the step with their parents because they're gonna need their parents' support to reach their goal.
It just makes sense that everybody starts off on the same page right from the beginning. So a scout will set their goal by navigating to the rewards section. You open the navigation menu by clicking on the three lines in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Then you will select rewards. As soon as you open the screen, you have a bunch of different prize ideas. You simply want to scroll through all of these options and discuss them as a family. You want to select the option that makes the most sense for you. Now you can set your goal by clicking on the heart within that option, or you can go to the top of the screen and click on the pencil to add your goal. Now the next thing that you're going to do is you need to go and personalize your page. This is another step that's usually helpful to have mom and dad um, with the scout while they complete. Now once again, you'll open up the navigation menu by clicking on those three lines in the upper corner, and then you want to go to the manage page section. From here, you want to tell your potential customers a little bit more about your scout. Now I got a son who's working to earn his way to National Jamboree, so that's what I have in here, but you want to personalize this to your scouting adventure. Uh, next, you want to go and help your scout select their favorite product. Now I don't know about your kids, but my kids have a different favorite every single year. So we always come in here and we skim through the products, find the favorite and select it. Now a very important piece to things this year is going to be adding your personality. What better way to do that than adding some photos and videos? I suggest adding at least one photo or video to this section. And most definitely, you need to come and you need to upload a profile photo. This will be shared. It will be shared every single time your scout shares their fundraising page. It'll be one of the first things that your potential customers see, and it makes a huge, huge difference. Be sure that you have that personal touch in there. Now you also want to make sure to add a personal touch when you're sharing your page. As you can see, we have a variety of different options for you to share. You can do text, email, social media, or you can simply copy the information to a clipboard to paste it anywhere. But be sure you want to add some personal touches, add a cute little story, a little blurb, something that's going to get your customer's attention. Now that we have things set up, I would like to navigate back on over to the dashboard and point a few things out to you. We've got some, some new upgrades that I think you guys are really gonna like. The first thing I would like to point out is that we have a new selling feature this year. It's called Online Direct. And while I wish I could say that this idea came from Trails In, it didn't. It actually came from an awesome scout named Nathan. Nathan was really eager and he had the idea to go door to door with his iPad selling the online product mix. Nathan had a ton of success with this method and he quickly got our attention. We decided that we wanted to give it a try and we wanted to see if Nathan was a one hit wonder or if he was onto something. So we ran some tests in Indy and we found that scouts were selling over $100 an hour with this method. So we decided it was something everybody needed to have the option to do. So we have now added the online direct option for all scouts within the Trails In app. You simply open that option, you're going to record a sale here the same way you would record a wagon sale or a storefront sale, except the only options are going to be all of the online products. These products will be sent directly to your customer and there's no return delivery required. Next, I would like to go back to the dashboard and I would like to show you our wagon sale screen because this is another screen where we have made a lot of improvements. To start a sale, you're going to click on the cart and as soon as we open it up, you will see a difference. We heard you guys when you said that we needed to make the images larger and easier to see as well as the prices. That's what we did. We also cut the number of clicks down by half to complete a seal. It's only four clicks this year. If you click on the three dots in the gray Rubik's Cube, you're able to bring up a different checkout view. Either view operates the same. You simply tap an item to add it to the cart. If you add an item by accident, you can swipe to the left to remove an item or you can swipe to the right to get more information about the product, or you can add and reduce the number of items.
Once you've added all of your items to the cart, don't forget to ask your customer if they would like to donate popcorn to the American Heroes, which includes the military and first responders. Let's check out our storefront menu. Um, there's not a lot of changes here. You are able to pick a shift either from the calendar or from the list. You simply find an option that works for you and click on the sign up option. Then you are able to add it to your calendar if you would like. Um, all of your sales at the storefront are going to be recorded just like your wagon sale. The only difference being that there's no undelivered option. We have the same two payment features available this year that we had last year. Obviously, we can accept cash, but I know with my sale, I'm going to try to limit as much cash exposure as I possibly can. I am always going to be telling my scouts that our preferred method of payment is credit. Credit card transactions don't cost anything at the unit, at the council level. Trails and takes care of all of that for us. So for me, it just makes more sense that our preferred method of payment in 2020 should be credit. Now I would also like to open up the navigation menu again and let's go and check out the training section. The training section has a ton of different videos. We have videos for leaders, for scouts, for parents on a variety of different options. If your scouts are looking for some tips for success, we have this little cutie that can help them out. And we also have all of these printable resources that are available for your scouts. Anything from scripts to thank you cards. Uh, we even have templates for business cards and door hangers. We also have the Path to Advancement here. This is an excellent resource. This will help you see what requirements your scouts are satisfying just by participating in the popcorn sale. Something new that we have this year that I would also like to point out to you is the Recruit a Scout feature. So if you're out and about and meet a potential scout, now you have the ability to record their information and send them a message. I know that I always get approached by families that are looking to join scouting, and I've always had a clipboard at the table, but this sends them an immediate communication with your information right then and there. I think it's awesome and it's really gonna help us bring scouting to the community. Just as a reminder, your dashboard will help you track your scout sales in real time. Now don't forget to share your fundraising page as often as you can. I always suggest sharing it at least once a week and I have found that Sunday evenings are the best time to share your page. Coming soon, we have a parent credit payment feature where parents will be able to take their money that they accumulate from their popcorn sales and they can deposit that into their own account and then just use their credit card to pay the unit. I'd like to recap on some of the bigger changes before we wrap things up. First, I'd like to point out that we are working with a new interface, Google Flutter. As you've seen throughout the app, things are smoother, more snappy, more intuitive, uh, much easier to complete. The registration process is more simplified, both for individuals and for sibling accounts. And it is much easier for parents to toggle between sibling, from sibling to sibling in their accounts. We've made many improvements throughout the app to make your experience even better than it was before. Now don't forget, I would always recommend working on your own a little bit more this year than years past. I would definitely suggest those individual shifts and those credit card payment options. If you're looking for help or advice, I always suggest that you reach out to the Facebook groups. Alrighty. So there's a quick video to help uh, everybody get a little bit more understanding and that's available for the scouts as soon as they log in in that training. So they can watch that exact same video, uh, only nine minutes long, kind of give that scout and uh, scout family a uh, full idea of how to run their sale. A uh, couple other items I want to show you guys is how that scout registers themselves. So if I can share my screen here. Alrighty, so it should be loaded up, but uh, whenever the scouts uh, or anybody goes to trails-in.com, here's our new web page. Uh, we have it broken out by scout supporters, 
uh, scouts and unit leaders. So in this case, uh, we would be scouts. Uh, you can click here to register now. You uh, would register on behalf of a parent or a scout. Most likely the parents will be registering them. You can enter all the information there, ask if they wanna receive uh, text messages or not, um, how old the scout's parent is, just to make sure that they are above 18. So enter in date of birth here. And what am I missing? Well, why is this? Let's see if I can try this again. <clears throat> All righty, there we go. Sorry, that would be David, the scout, uh, not the scout parent. And then, oh no, so that's the date of birth of the parent. Then here's the scout information. So I apologize on that. So scout parent information, scout information, fill it out here. And then you can create your username uh, and then your password to create that login. So scouts, if you have multiple scouts in your family, uh, you can use the same email for all of them and then just have different usernames. Uh, and then you can create your passwords there. So I already have a Scout account created. So I'm gonna go back to this and then show once you log in, what that looks like from a desktop version. So I am already logged in, so you'll see there. And here is my Scout page. So when they log in, they have their dashboard, uh, it shows their sales, they also can access the phone. Unfortunately, my phone's not wanting to sync to uh, Zoom today. Um, so I can't show you from the phone, but all the same information just from a desktop. But again, that training portion from the desktop or from their phone, they can click that tab. They have that video that we just watched, great resource for them. Uh, another of my favorite items is the app quick start guide, which you will see here. Uh, so here is the app quick start guide. Uh, very easy document uh, and something I'd encourage you guys to give your scout families. It shows them exactly how to register, sign up their scouts. Uh, it shows the accepting credit cards. They do not have to have a square reader to take a credit card sale. They can always manually enter it in. Um, shows how to claim the rewards, the different selling methods. The new one this year is the online direct, uh, which is a great resource for scouts going door to door where they don't have to handle any product. It's basically an online sale, but you can take it in person like a wagon sale all through the app and ship it directly to that consumer. Shows you how to do that. Quick little images, step-by-step -step process. Shows you how to sign up for the storefronts, issue refunds, and then record the wagon sale. So great document, only two pages. Bullets it out depending on what that scout family is trying to do. So say they need to know how to do a refund, they just go down here and show how they can do that. Uh, refunds for scouts are only available same day the unit kernel can refund 24 hours after the scout, so up to 48 hours from that sale transaction. So that is all I have for you guys. The app this year, pretty intuitive. Uh, we updated a lot of things. The biggest thing was the checkout screen, cutting that in half, uh, hopefully make everything easier. So let's see what kind of questions do you guys have? So I just asked to see the recording, and yes, we are recording these and have that video available for anybody. Any app questions that the video did not answer or that you guys have? Uh, the biggest thing I'd say for the app is just trying to get all your scout parents to create an account. I understand that can be a struggle. Uh, we did, as soon as they can download the app, they can also always register through the app itself this year. That's a new thing that we did. Is there more setup taking credit cards? Um, not sure what the setup of taking credit cards. So you don't need to set up your banking information, anything like that to take credit cards. Um, to take it through the square, there's a quick little Bluetooth where you just connect it. 
Uh, you do want to allow it access to your headphone or uh, if you have one of the newer iPhones, that auxiliary uh, port, but uh, it's just very quick and easy to connect it. I don't know what other setup. Can I ask that question? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Go for it. Sorry. Um, so what I'm looking at on that is I was on the other one. I didn't know if that banking and account information on the leader site for the Trails End app, does that have to be in there to take the credit card uh, or does yeah. that just go directly to Trails End? No, yeah, you do not need to set that up at all. Uh, that banking information is just for the unit to receive their payout. So uh, if they don't have that, they just can't receive the payout if their credits exceed their invoice. But scouts can start taking credit cards at any time, whether that's filled out or not. So Trails End pays for all the credit card fees. The funds come directly to us. We issue credits on the unit's invoice back in return for your portion. Thank you. Yep. Good question. Yeah, I can send the link for the video. Let me do that here. Here is the YouTube link for that. Uh, you can also see there's tons of other trails and videos on there. And then uh, scouts and families can access that through the training tab as well as soon as they're logged in. One person asked, what are options for scouts who can't use the app? We do have order mm -hmm. forms. Um, how would using an order form affect prizes? So they will need to have their orders recorded some way. Uh, if the scout cannot, the unit leader can enter orders for scouts. Uh, I can show you guys how to do that. Um, but yeah, you have the paper take order form just like usual. Understand not everybody has a smartphone uh, and can't do that. accounts here. All right. So let me get logged into my scout account. Wrong one. Oh no, here we go. All right, right. No, it is my scout account. If you have access to two different uh, units as well, you can always toggle in between them. I know some people work with a, a pack and uh, troop. They help run the sales for two units. All right, so here are the scouts. So if you want to record orders, say for myself, uh, say they bring back that take order form, you could then just go ahead and enter it all in here uh, through this. If they're not using the app, I assume they're taking cash orders, so you could just enter it all in as a bulk order. So you'd say they have five cheese lovers, three salted, uh, two blazon, uh, and then you could all just record that sale right then and there. So now that scout is updated for their total sales. See another question there. Uh, Abby, you might know, will the paper order forms be mailed this year? Yes, I believe that is the plan. We just got a whole order of them into the office and we usually have it set up so those will arrive at the scouts home the week uh, the sale is about to start. Looks like somebody wants to know where to find the wagon sales product sheet. Um, so in the app, if you just create an order, you'll see all the available wagon sales. So whenever you first log in, you can see all that information. Uh, so at the very bottom, you have dashboard, online, direct, and wagon. You can just click the wagon, start sale. You'll see all the available products. 
Um, I can show you guys all the available products for this year. Hold on. There we go. So here are all the available products for wagon sales. Uh, so you got the cheese lovers, salted, blazing, white cheddar, unbelievable butter, uh, pre-popped, not the microwave, so all in a large bag, popping corn in a jar, and caramel corn. So cheese lovers new this year, uh, has more ounces bigger. It's the full big bags of white cheddar and blazing. Also fully printed, no metalized bags anymore this year. Have the unbelievable butter pre-popped. Uh, so no microwave, unfortunately. Uh, we have been affected like many other food manufacturers in our production capacity, and uh, the microwave was the biggest one impacted. Uh, Blazing new flavor. It's like a flaming Hot Cheeto. Uh, hopefully a lot of scouts will enjoy that one. Popping corn to a jar. And then uh, we have a new American Heroes. Uh, so it's not just military this year. It's first responders, uh, everybody, veteran organizations doing great things uh, across this country. We want to fully... Uh, appreciate everybody and all the heroes that we have. But this is the available market. Chocolate items will be available through Online Direct, uh, which you can see here. So the Online Direct items, you'll have all the chocolate. Uh, you will have a Unbelievable Butter microwave option. Uh, is smaller size and a little bit more expensive than in the past, just due to that limited capacity. Uh, last thing we want to do is under set that price and sell through very quickly and be gone in a month. Uh, we want to sell it, return the most back to you guys, the best price available, um, and then all the other options. So notice everything's priced at the same as what it would be on the take order form. The Blazin is $20 online, just as it is in person. Same with the white cheddar. Uh, everything matches how you guys sell uh, in person. And then here's the new trails and rewards. So this year, Point system gift card. Uh, understand uh, gift card for some of the Cub Scouts. They might need an image, and that's where we have that option in the app to select their goal. But really, uh, would push you guys to set a goal for your unit, a goal for your Scouts. Uh, what's in it for them, uh, and what are they shooting for to gain this year? Any other questions? Um, I heard, and I don't know. I just want to see if this is true that. I've heard some people say that the, the chocolate lover or the chocolate popcorn won't ship until October because of temperatures. Is that true? Yes, that is correct. I'm glad you brought that up. So chocolate won't set ship out until I believe it's October 5th. Uh, it will say whenever they select the item. Um, one of the other things with that is uh, if they have other non-chocolate items in that order, they will not ship out until the chocolate is available. Um, if you want to ship out earlier, then you'll just need to split those orders up. Uh, online direct price for Commerce Coin is 10 and our price is 12. Uh, yeah, that's something that uh, Indiana as a whole, all of the councils charging 12. Uh, something I believe you guys should be able to get that extra $2 if consumers are willing to spend 10. Uh, my bets they're willing to spend 12. Uh, and that should just help you guys generate more revenue back uh, as a whole. Uh, we have a, had a couple other councils try that in the past and they've been able to generate more money. So basically the same number of containers that they have in the past, but then you guys just get that additional. And uh, I'm sure you guys will also receive more donations as well, uh, having that increment as well. One person asked about the prizes. Are other prizes not happening? We have decided um, to work with Trails In on the prize system. So we will be moving toward those gift cards. We will still offer our council prizes, like the, um, if we have sports events that kids can go to, we'll work for those. Uh, the Vans Shoes gift card that we've done in the past. And that will all be outlined uh, a little later in at the 1030 new commission structure and prize program that John Harding will be hosting. So um, he will be able to answer more questions about that. And then someone else asked about, is the, the password recovery, 
As the password recovery process changed from last year, I imagine some will have forgotten over the year. Yeah, so I can show you guys how to uh, do that password recovery. It's, it's a very easy process. I actually did it uh, yesterday before we did this, forgot my scalps password, um, as I'm sure many others have throughout the time. So if you go in here, it's a very easy process. You will just click the uh, forgot password. Uh, you can enter your username. If you don't know your username, you can always click the forgot username and enter your email. Uh, it will send you a quick little link. Once you enter that in, uh, you click that link and you just reset your password to whatever you want. Um, if you are having additional issues, you can always email support at trails-in.com, which I can put in here. That will be your best resource for all IT related questions. And I'll also include my email in here as well. If you guys have any questions, I'm happy to help any way I can, but that support will be great resource. And then the Trails in Facebook community as well would be the third resource there for everybody. Uh, lots of other unit leaders across the country doing this as well. People with similar questions to you guys. Any other questions? Well, appreciate you all hopping on. If nobody else has questions, uh, feel free to hop off whenever, and you guys can always email it. Think of a question down the road or something else comes up, but uh, appreciate you guys being on this morning. And uh, good luck to everybody selling their sands to be a, a different year for sure. Uh, selling in the past year, we won't forget anytime soon. And just a reminder, the next um, sessions are inventory management and new commission structure and prize program, both taking place at 1030. So we hope to see you at one of those. Consistent message. Um, so as of right now, have until Tuesday for the $30 and then going to go up to 40 and, and see if that changes anything. Um, the good news is the free shipping has been absolutely massively successful and way more money coming back to scouting. Um, so continue to push that. Um, and I think the, the end consumer is much more willing to buy when we have that option going. Amazon has trained me very well. If I'm $5 away from free shipping, I'm going to buy another $10 product. So that's going to happen with this. If I buy a $25 bag of popcorn and I can get free shipping at 30, I'm buying that next product. So I just bought another $12 a uh, jar of popping corn or if it's 40 I'm gonna buy two bags of that 25 I think it's it's marketing and it works <laughs> yep that's that's the goal someone mentioned another platform that they just did a donation um, to get it up to that shipping point yep. so when somebody's checking out they do have that availability um, to donate to that American Heroes. Um, there's also gonna be a, a new feature coming here in the next couple of days um, that if a consumer actually wants to pay for shipping, um, they have that option as well. Um, you've probably seen that on some other platforms. I think GoFundMe has that option. Um, so that's coming in the next couple of days, but yes, I highly encourage people to just you know donate to that American Heroes. Um, obviously that brings more money back to scouting as well. And Kat, the donations to the American Heroes, that counts toward the free shipping? Correct, yep. It's the same thing as buying a bag of caramel corn. Uh, they just, you do not pay a shipping cost on that donation. I'm having some issues signing in um, my second child on the app. Is there a training area for that that I can go through? Um, not that I know off the top of my head. Um, if you have an issue, email that support at trails.com. Um, I mean, I think right now our 
average time is about an hour to get back to you. Me or what you're seeing, I don't even have that ability. Um, so they can jump on there and kind of figure out how to help you if for whatever reason something's not working. Uh, someone asks, on the Trails In page, can we see what popcorn was ordered in 2019 to determine what to pre-order this year? You're not going to be able to see exactly what you guys bought last year. Um, there is a pre-populated thing of the mix that we, we think you should buy. Um, obviously, with a limited number of SKUs this year, um, I can tell you your caramel corn is going to be roughly 30% of your sale. Um, white cheddar is going to be number two at around 18 to 20 percent um, and then salted probably number three um, but when you log in to place your order there is a recommended mix that you guys should buy on that one um, I will warn you be careful on the $15 pre-popped butter um, people tend to be ordering too much of that it's roughly going to be seven percent of your mix um, so just make sure that you kind of limit yourself on that one um, stock up on the caramel corn and the white cheddar. Um, those are definitely going to be your two biggest. Someone else wanted to know if you can, if they they have the ability to see last year's invoices. I'm not on the unit portal side. Um, we might have that unit information on a file in the office, but that is something I would have to go and dig around um, to see. Yeah, council for sure can. Um, but I'm not positive if the unit leader can. Well, the other part to, to what you're mentioning earlier is the fact that you, you want to try to look for apples and apples, okay? And last year, you know, for instance, microwave popcorn had a, had a percentage of almost 18 to 20% of our sale was microwave products. We're not offering door-to-door -door microwave product this year. So it's not a perfect mix in regards to looking at the invoices and stuff. Um, so, but if you want some help and some counseling on that, yes, reach out to, your, to our staff members and we'll try and pull that information from you and get you a copy of it. So uh, we did retain the information from last year in our files. We've got everybody put in the binders and that too. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll support you if you have the questions. Yep. So. And don't forget that microwave is available online. So if you're going door to door, or, you know, parent taking the app into work, um, they can still get that product just through the online system this year. We will stick around for a few more minutes if you all have questions um, or you can take a little break before our next sessions. Upcoming sessions are marketing your sale or basics for new popcorn chairs and both of those start at 1.30. I'm going to sign off to prep for my next session, but thank you very much for stepping in, Rick. We, we appreciate the help from Trails On today. Absolutely. My name's Dan. Um, so Unbelievable Butter, the microwave, is that available online direct? Yep, absolutely. Yep. Okay, it's just we're not going to sell it as show and sell. Okay, Correct. It was completely, I thought, oh no, it's completely disappeared now. Nope, it's still there. Um, just a little background story on that. Basically, our parent company, Weaver Popcorn, um, they make all the popcorn for pretty much every movie theater, Walmart, Costco, all of those things. Um, and we have had to reduce even all of those major retailers down. Um, we've had to totally redo our manufacturing capabilities. Um, so while demand for microwave is up 60%, um, our ability to produce is down 30%. Um, so with that, with scouting, you know, we were basically given X amount of containers we're allowed to sell. 
and we did not want to over promise. So the online uh, we're able to control that um, and kind of know how many orders are coming in. So that's why we have moved that to online for this year. 100% do not want that same thing next year. We want it back in the mix, um, but COVID stinks. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. I learned a lot and you got me to the Trails In page where I see all of those great PDFs. So I have not been looking at all of those. I kept wondering, where are people getting these? So I found them. Thanks. Absolutely. And Abby, you're sending out the PowerPoint that you had to all of your units. Yeah, everything is um, recorded and within the next week not monday or tuesday but later in the week we will be updating the popcorn resources page with all all the recordings plus any um, resources you might need like the product mix the popcorn guidebook etc